is a spiritual agreement praise the lord that's why watu wakisimama katika madhabahu wakifanya harusi si wanasaini kitu muzika hivyo mnakaa kama waganga wa kienyeji you come so bored alafu inasema watu wakisimama kwa madhabahu wakati wa harusi si wanasaini kitu ambao ni legal binding document ya serikali ya Kenya pia sisi wa, watu wa kawaida huwa tunapewa cake ya kututia nguvu ya kwamba we have attended the wedding but marriage remains different you know there's a difference between marriage and i say marriage and what wedding inakuwa na yetu lakini marriage ni hawa watu wawili tu wakishatoka hapa now a covenant is a spiritual agreement between the humanity and divinity that's what the covenant is all about now this what he call a covenant love god says in Deuteronomy chapter number 7 verse 7 he says that my covenant have i swear to you that i have set my affection to you yani nimeweka upendo wangu juu yako not because you are many sio mlikuwa wengi in other words that god has the understanding mungu ako na understanding there are people in the eyes of men they may not be appealing si kweli hai si kuna watu machoni pa watu wengine they don't appeal na kuna wenye wanaitwa beautiful wengine wanaitwa handsome wengine wanaitwa cute wengine wanaitwa cuteless whatever the name will be but all of them wote wako now but god says i did not choose you because you are many i chose you because i had a covenant with abraham praise the lord that whatever anybody that who comes from abraham's side and i took care of abraham hata kama yeye ni kiwete hata kama yeye asairi but as long as he's in that lineage because i have a covenant with that man praise the lord and that's why i told you that people who are successful hata katika hiyo hata katika hizo farms mnafanya my brother there are people who have entered a covenant that covenant sometimes they call it shares that you work in a bank that you don't know the owner basi unafanya ya Kenya lakini si mna mukalijens ya Britain si Britain ndio the mother ndio wanaoni mingi na waku withdraw leo muachiwe backless yenu hapa Kenya you run it you cannot run it how am was why because they start contracts with them they call it contract but to us we call it covenant praise the lord now what you are within the covenant of love god himself he takes the responsibility now it is a punish when you love god praise the lord that if he loves you you also must love him in return that's me impende that's momuchwe that's me farm na lasima you must to masinde some what you call contract agreement you must keep it unasikia julius ukitaka ku sustain ile kazi unafanya leo si lasima u sustain na u keep the rules ya hiyo kazi and if you come short of that rules what happens Hey, I mean, what happens? You face the consequence, simple. There's nothing you can do. Now, when the Bible talks about the love of God, Abraham the Bible says he loved God. Let me tell you my friend, any time that you have an affection for God, any time that you love God, in return God himself will work you there because a covenant is about the love that you want to get enter and the love without sacrifice is not love i say love without sacrifice is not love nancy si mzazo mwingi amelipa kitu kule kwenu kuoneja solidarity ya kwamba ni huko hata kama ni paka si ni kweli i talked to that woman another woman yesterday ananiambia they are married for 20 years bwana yake amemzalisha watoto wako secondary school anawaliza na Ajawai 
Mwanaume hata ajui mlango ya kwenda kwa kina msichana. Nikamwambia wewe ni wa mpango wa kando. Wewe ni mpango wa kando. Kwa nini? Because in any love there must be a commitment. There must be a sign of commitment. That's why if you love God, there are things machine you cannot do. There if you love God, there are times you sacrifice not at all time. All time. All time. If you love God, you must sacrifice all time. You must rise to another level. That where you are sacrificed to him, God is unimaginable. That you cannot be comfortable if God is abused. But that's what I'm Uwezi kubali Mungu adharauliwe mashinde. Mungu adharauliwe, alafu wewe uko hapo na unasema unapenda Mungu. Leo hii wa, Waislamu wanasimamaga mahali wakisikia kidogo, wakisikia kidogo una una dhiaki, waja kudhiaki. Do you know Muislamu akupate na Korani barabarani mashinde hii Korani umewekelea vile wa Kristo wote wanafanyaga umeekelea hii Koran hapa kwa makwapa atakuua Watu wote wako hapa hivi wote ukiangalia kila mtu wako hapa hapa especially wale wanaekaga Bible kwa beba bagi ya black nyeusi alafu wanaekeleaga hapa ni kama ajuagi If you find a Muslim akupate na Koran umeweka ndani ya makwapa hivi acha unatembea kwa barabarani he will kill you. Why? They have what you call a passion love for their religion, not for God, but for their religion. Now, I want to imagine of the Christians, the people who feel that they love God. If you love God, there are things that you forfeit so that you can make God happy. There are things you can do for God. Sometimes you don't look at yourself first, you look at God first. Leo hii watu wanajipenda. Mtu akiumwa hata mguu hiyo kidogo, ana pesa kaa nyumbani hata miezi, aseme ya kwamba nasikia mguu. Lakini akisikia pesa iko barabarani ya desi, hata fata ataenda hivi. Naenda kuji zaidi. Simply, people can walk to the church. Let me tell you the truth. Nasema masinde for all humility. Even when you love, even the woman you love siku ile mlikuwa mnatongozana mkiwa vijana ukipewa date na msichana unapenda Jackson sema ukweli wacha tu kujifanya ati nimuokoku sana umepewa date na kumenyesha mvua ya mawe unaweza achana na hiyo date na ujue kwamba msichana anang'ang'aniwa na ndugu na siku hiyo ndio test of credibility kama unampenda ama unamfanya fanya guest work unaweza sister hata ukiandikia mndugu please call me Biro uko mrembo hivi uandikie mndugu na 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 wewe ndiye anaangalia hivi please call me si hata ataenda kukopesha ataenda kwa safari kwa makopesha 100 badala ya kukopesha 30 bob so that our nature solidarity of love let me tell you if you indeed love God and that's why ni mesem nasema 100% nasema kabisa church ya Kenya haipendi Mungu hata dakika moja kama ingekuwa inapenda Mungu leo mashinde as we are saying today leo Tunaongea na wewe nobody can be even put a building without even having a place where people can worship. Ilienda hapa isi coach the other day. Kuchukua muziki ilikuwa ndio kakamega kwa bishop Buluma. Nipopiga kapa nikapata wametengeneza a place hapo kwa isi coach wametengeneza kamos kama wamesema this is for the our brothers muslim brothers. Na mimi vile huwa sasagi watu ninajiulizia nika nikauliza hapo kauliza now that you have a place for muslim brothers mali wana wana abud, where are the, the 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 christian brothers place mali wanaabudia wakikuja. Akaniambia they have never even requested and I've never even seen one praying. And yet they are the most and that's why the majority of the Christians, even when you hear miracles are done everywhere, that's why they can move from one place to another place in such a miracle. And they are living what you call prostitutional Christianity. It is what is evident in the church. Let me tell you the truth. Prostitutional Christianity is the one that is so rampant, especially in the Pentecostal churches. Give it away. Nakuru Si wakati ule uhori anakuja hapa hivi unakuta makanisa mengi in town hakuna watu wanakuaga hapo 
Unakuta hata watu hawajai waokoka mtu wako unaenda huko you go to a place even they don't carry bibles people get ashamed mama Lilian mtu anaibikala kubeba bibilia hii lakini anaweza beba hata kaseti kama tano anajifanyaga ndio wa nguvu naona mama mshon mtu akiwa na kaseti hata ni ndaizi sana anaweza tongoza dada amusikie lakini dada akiona ndugu amebeba kaseti na amtongoze ama niaje shiro ai ama niaje beti ulipata ndugu ako na gazeti taifa leo na people magazine na 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 kagazeti ka Nairobi leo monthly ameomba kwa mtu ka miaka kama tano hivi na mwingine ametokea na kabaibu ka nyeusi ka kundu hivi kanatoka hivi amevaa tai zile zenye tai zinakuwa na shisha shida za watu wa worokole ako hivi amekelea kabaibu kake hapo wote wanakutongoza semu ukweli wa Yesu unasikiza nani Because wa gazeti anakuhakikishia ako na pesa ya kununua gazeti. Anaweza kuwa na pesa ya kununua magazine. And I'm telling you the truth. Ndio unaonaga watu wa hata ni wapi maofisi ngapi nimeshaenda hata kwa watu wameokoka. Unajaribu kusalimia mtu bwana asifiwe. Eh mtu mtu. Bwana asifiwe. Ndugu mwingine hapa chini hapa kotini anafanya hapa. Ninaenda mbele za watu. Mimi ni pasta chiropi na ninachua ndugu anasemaga ameokoka. Nilimwacha. Yaani kwanza niseme nilimwachaga akiokoka. Nimefika hapo excitement naona lai. Bwana asifiwe bwana. Eh mzuri Lawrence mzuri niko busy. Bwana asifiwe bwana. Naenda Mzuri tuko wakubwa mzuri wasiwe uh, unajua watu wako hapa nikamuuliza watu wakiwa hapa hii ndio inatakana useme asifiwe ndio wajua umeokoka kumbe jamaa anakula hongo amenunulia mwanamke mangari amenunulia mwanamke kanyumba demo ananunua demo mwanamke anamkataa let me tell you you can do many things for men but men will never sustain the relationship but whatever you do for God forever God will sustain the relationship I say God will sustain the relationship. Mimi si msasi. Ni wangapi napigiaga simu naambia, "Bwana asifiwe." Eh mzuri, ulikuwa unasemaje? Anaanzia hapo. Some idiot, let me tell you, Christianity masinde is a fake. Muislamu haogopaji hata kwa wakubwa. Hata akina balala walipokuwa wanaingiaga, angalia wote wale wanajifanyaga hata wabunge wa Kenya parliament hata wameokoka. Fake. Mwislamu anavaa kiyembe yake hivi, anavaa kansu na anateremuka hata akikutongosha utajua. Sasa hii hata wachungaji wote kila mtu anaona hii kola, akiona ge... eh Wacha kwani ninavaa hii kola kila Sunday siku hizi. Takwambia significant yake. Si nimevaa hivyo kama 6 months hivi, miezi ngapi? Wewe ndio uko unanihesabia. About 6 to 7 months. Hii ndio uniform yangu brother. Hii ndio yangu. Najua dini yetu haikubaliki sana hii maneno lakini hii ndio dini yangu mimi. Najua mimi nilikuwa mtoto misa. Mtoto misa nilikaa karibu na father. Hakuna kitu moja imechange sana na father. Tofauti ni ile tu kuongea na ndimi. Wacha nikwambie Christianity it is the most horrible. Ndio teritana niliwaambia mwenye CNN alisema Christianity is for the less men. That's why when this brother is teaching us about how to get money also we must understand if that money comes will it people be sustained in the church brother ni wangapi wamepata pesa leo ameenda kutafuta biblia tu unajua watu wanakosa kutafuta biblia tu kwa sababu ya economical crisis otherwise economic empowerment financial stability ikiingia excess if god is not in between mtu atafuta biblia tu because the person atafuta ikuliwe aje Si pasa moja alisema alisema you rather take the church wachana na mimi na bibi yangu yani alioa bibi ya pili akasema kanisa hii yani sio story my brother Jack a real story alisema kanisa iwachwe na mwingine pia alikuwa Nairobi akasema anaambia bibi yake kama unataka tuwe mkwe bibi wa pili alipata alikuwa mmojaluo akaoa mmeru tena akapata mmeru mweupe mweupe akafuata akamwambia sasa mkuu bibi wawili uwe pasta ya nani na bibi tu mwingine ni mzee excess mzee mzee excess yako na 68 69 and a quarter msichana ni 27 years ukiuliza msichana ukweli kabisa ni mapenzi alifuata ama ni do na yeye alikuwa anaimba kwa kwaya anaiwe 
Watu wanaweza kuwa na vitu mingi sana. They don't love they are what they call erotic. Satanic. Even the people you see walking to church every Sunday, I will tell you for free. Not that they love God. They here because they have no time. But if you have time for God, let me tell you my friend. Maandiko inasema Nehemiah alipoambiwa ukuta za Jerusalem zimeanguka. Biblia inasema ya kwamba alilia and yet he was a cupbearer of the king. Cupbearer of what? I say a cab. Leo yao hivi Jack, sema ukweli. Wewe wewe kabera wa uhuru. Kabera ndiye anaonjaga chakula ya mfarume kutoka Kenya, Japan, Jamaica, everywhere in the world. A kabera is a man who be taken care of more than anybody else. Unajua hivyo? Why? Because the life of the president iko wapi? I say iko wapi? Leo hivi watu wanapataka tu vitu vidogo vidogo hata anapata kakazi Kenya kana akiri anakuambia Sunday sita pastor eh sita kuja kanisa ninaenda kazi you look at the a foolish christian a person who does not care waislamu wamepigana paka sheria za Kenya leo zimeregeshwa ikifika saa sita muislamu anaamka anaendaga msikitini bila apology hapa tunataka nada ana napenda mwili wote. Maandiko yanasema Nehemia alipokuwa amesikia tu ya kwamba katika Jerusalem ukuta zimeanguka. What does the Bible says? What does the Bible says? I said what does the Bible says? The man wept. The man did what? Nani anaweza kusikia vibaya Julius leo? Watu wanatukanaga hata kanisa. Unasikia wengine walienda kanisa ya Bishop Mwingi pale South B. Wakatoka kwa nyumba zao. Jamaa anasema ati bibi yake ako na mimba anapigiwa kelele, anaenda kutoa pasta kwa madhabau asihubiri kesha eti ni kelele. Nilisema huyo jamaa ameanza safari ya laana ambayo haitaisha haraka. Hata iko Did you read on 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 this paper standard? Iko kwa standard jamaa alitoka hata ilipigwa kwa gazeti tu kubwa hiyo kanisa ya bishop hivi wabini south wewe oh, unajua Nairobi unajua Nairobi unajua Nairobi unajua south b I, I yes, you know where that church is gospel tabernacle yani jamaa anatoka kwa nyumba yake eti yako at the comfort with my wife she's pregnant our first born excuse me Si wambie fastball yako adansie hiyo muziki akiwa ndani. Hili akitoka ndani ajue kwamba muziki naopiwa sio ya ndomboro ni muziki ya Yesu. Bwana Yesu asante. Imagine huyu jamaa kaenda kupiga pasta, kupigana na pasta. Lakini uzuri vijana wa hiyo kanisa they felt that our pastor cannot be touched neither the church. Vijana walimshughulikia kwa bidii. Imagine mzinde, can you imagine? Alafu huyo jamaa ana ajina yake walikuwa wameandika walikuwa na jina yake alikuwa anaitwa at John Owino nikauliza ni bibi gani mzungu ama mwe chinese because either way nikauliza how can you go hata kama church inaweza kuwa nuisance there are people who say the church is a nuisance it is true it's a nuisance it is true but if you have the love of god if you compassionately love god if you know nobody can force you nobody can coerce you nobody can push you to come and worship mama lia hakuna mtu hakuna haja pasa nisimame hapa kila siku na ngangana naambia watu kujeni sio for my own benefit it is for your soul benefit so what i say it's for what soul benefit now mark chapter number 12 30 maandiko inasema kwamba thou shall love the lord thy god Number one with what? I said number one with what? Your heart. Number one is your heart. It's not your head. It's what? You cannot worship God with your head. If you worship God with your head. Yaani ukimwabudu Mungu na akili. Na nini? Usichana wa wa soul anaitwa Mika alikuwa anamwabudu Mungu na anamjua Mungu na akili. Biblia inasema alipoona 
Yaani Daudi alipona sanduku la agano. She did not understand what does the presence of God brings in man. Bwana chosho sana. Daudi meona kwa gazeti Njenga Karume is worth 120. Umeona? Headline. The man is worth one niliwaambia alisema mwenyewe wakati before he died alisema as he said in the presence of his doctor dr gikonyo alisema ati kabra jakufa aliuliza yani this man is i have made masinde hakuna mtu duniani ambaye alikuwa amefungwa belt kwa ndege ilikuwa chartered kwa alipelekwa tel aviv in israel to be treated in cancer alikufa akiwa ndani ya ndege na yeye alikuwa angekuwa mshirika wetu alikuwa ame survive alikubali movea padiri akaenda na sakramenti ya kipaimara ni ile sakramenti ya kukufa inaitwa nini mema wewe ndio unasema mkatholiki ya kujiandaa kuna sakramenti katholiki ukipewa inaitoka ya kujiandaa safari ya mwisho brother hata kama ulikuwa kwa kitanda tayari ameshakutuma ahel huyo father alikuwa amefika ameshampatia sakramenti akiwa Karen hospital na ndio wanamtoa hapo without their knowledge Ame, amefungwa kwa belt alikufia kwa airport akarudishwa kwa kwa mochari. aliuliza hii pesa yote Julius nimetengeneza hakuna mtu anaweza niondolea hii kansa he could not know hii mwili unabeba my friend inakudanganya kwamba kanisa ni waste of time kanisa ni ya maskini teritana huyu wa CNN alisema christianity ni ya wajinga watulezi wasiojua kitu wa kufanya when kanza came to strike he divorced four times when it came knocking the man cried anasema i have lost Teritana has donated 1 billion US dollars in Africa for HIV and AIDS. He said is among is, is among the billionaires of the world. Alisema ukristo. Lakini when he was 75 years old, akaanza ku realize kwamba hakuna kitu cha muhimu chini ya jua. Let me tell you, the time you spend for God to defend, you cannot defend God for either but you can love god bwana jesus i say you cannot defend god but you can do what the bible says you love the lord thy god with thy heart unaona mwanaume anaendaga kwenda kuishi mama mwingine alitupatia experience mpaka katika kulia for the first time ameachiwa watoto wawili mwanaume ameenda kulea watoto pale sijui mwariki amemwachia watoto hapa juu akaenda kulea watoto masinde wako secondary wake wako primary nikauliza ni nini ati amemuonesha upendo nikamuuliza upendo wa aina gani mama Lilian ambaye unajua ati mwanaume ameonesha upendo ameacha watoto wake wawili ameenda kusomesha wa secondary tena wa wanya wanasomesha ni walevu kumuriko jamani akaa hivi na ndio ninakwambia ile level unapenda Mungu is a level that God will come down to give you a blessing. And that's why let me tell you even the miracle seekers even the people who walk around for miracle even the people who are looking number one SNC number one it is the love of God that determines the level of the blessing that God will raise in your life. Genesis chapter number 22 Soma 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 Keep your finger on Mark Mark chapter number 1230 Genesis What is love all about Genesis 22 <coughs> Let me read verse number 1 and then look at verse 16. The Bible says and some time later God tested Abraham. He said to him Abraham, here I am. He replied, then God said, take your son and your only son 
My question was Isaac the only son of Abraham? Excuse me, I'm talking to some people here. Was Isaac just us? Was Isaac the only son of Abraham? Does the Bible say the only? What does your translation say, Jackson? Emphasis is take thy son and what was we'll he the only one? Must he? Please stop your explanation. Answer the way I'm a lawyer because you know pastors are the first class lawyers before we come to these other funny ones. Then my question was we'll he the only son? Answer yes or no. Thank you. The only thing you have said, it was the covenant. It was what? Now, if you are a covenant with God, if you are determined to be a covenant with God, what can you hold from the one you love? What can you hold from the one you love? The Bible says, and God said, take your son, and what you are only? I say, you are only? And then we will read the verses number 16. 16 is a majesty, uh, Jack, so my yoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Genesis. To say. What a story of digital. Why is the Bible in the bus? Jana, come on, bundles. I don't know why you're going to bundles. That's not a credit. Does says from the NIV says surely I'll bless you and I'll make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as, as the sun on the seashore. Your descendant will take possession of cities. Of what? I say for what? Nionesha biashara wa kristo ya maana sana brother. Supermarket ya unajua wa mkristo hapa. Biro metambia hapa nakuru meguja jana. Masi ndesema mbili. Ya mkristo. Supermarket. Taskis. Taskis. Yam Christo. Taskis 51% shares are from here. Ndio nona ndofu ilibaki nakmat wakapewa pembe ndio sawa wame survive. Alafu brother zao na baba yao original the father. Father, the father, original biological father. Mwenye wapa kwao ni muislamu. Hata uyu mwingine uyu jamaa kwa wapa nakura toka Yusuf umokuwa. So wacha kusema ni kama unajua uliza wenye wanajua wewe ujui Alafu naivas ni cousins na taskis kwa hivyo lazima upate siri kutoka kwa cousin eh? Is this what is strange Is it strange eh? Are you sure it's strange Watu usemaga hivyo hata mabasi zile zinataka Mombasa Niambie moja wa Kristo. Zile zile zinaitoka Shalom Ebenezer Jehovah Nisi. Inaandaka Mombasa after 4 days. Inaharibikia Mulolongo, inakuja inaharibikia Machakos Kona, Emali, unafika Mombasa baada ya 6 days. Wakati cha kila takbir, tap tap tap, coast bus. Sinakupita ni kama umesimama. I mean, let me tell you. This man the covenant of wealth they enter. Mungu akamwambia Abraham that because you have done this thing you cannot sacrifice the only thing that you have for the one that you don't love John 3.16 the famous scripture what does the Bible say 